Welcome to the Weekly Interceptor's Explain Playlist, where I explain prominent weapon systems and concepts about air and missile defense. Defeating a ballistic missile requires extensive, collaborative effort through multiple sensors. The process of detecting, tracking, and engagement are pivotal processes in the missile defense. While nations like the United States have overlapping space and ground-based sensors that provide holistic detect and track capabilities throughout the entire flight path of a ballistic missile, engagement capabilities are limited by the capabilities and limitations of the engagement system. Ballistic missile flight path consists of three generic phases. These phases of flight are boost, mid-course, and terminal phase. Each of these phases directly mirror the engagement phases for missile defense systems. There is no current system used for the boost phase intercept. Boost phase intercept is extremely costly and difficult to do due to the location of inland ballistic missile systems and the requirement of the defense system to be in close proximity to the threat. Many countries such as China and Russia keep their long-range ballistic missiles inland away from the potential boost phase defense measures. Theoretically, the only system in the world that is capable of boost phase intercept is the U.S. Aegis Combat System. Though boost phase intercept is a costly endeavor, it provides great benefits. Attacking a ballistic missile in its boost phase offers the advantage of hitting the missile during its slowest, hottest phases of its launch, when it can also easily be detected by infrared sensors. It is also the best way to ensure that fallout from the destroyed missile, especially if it carries an unconventional warhead, will hit the enemy. Countries like the United States and Israel are working to develop air and space-based lasers and precision interceptors to be able to engage threats in this phase. The mid-course phase is the longest phase of flight that occurs after the ballistic missile has completed firing its propulsion system. During this phase, the missile is coasting or free-falling towards its target. For medium and long-range missiles, this phase occurs outside the Earth's atmosphere. The mid-course phase is beneficial to both offensive and defensive methods. The mid-course phase allows for the largest opportunity to intercept an incoming missile. Since it is no longer under power, it follows a more predictable path. This time in the phase allows for multiple interceptors to be launched across multiple areas. Mid-course intercept provides wide coverage of a region, and there are several systems able to engage in mid-course phase of flight. American systems capable of mid-course intercept are Aegis Ashore, Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense, and ground-based mid-course defense systems. The last phase of flight and engagement phase is the terminal phase. The terminal phase begins once the missile starts to re-enter the atmosphere and starts its descent towards the target. This phase of flight is normally less than one minute as the gravity pulls the warhead and it gains speed towards the objective. To engage ballistic missiles in the terminal phase, defense systems must be close to the impact point to provide the point defense. Countermeasures are less of a challenge in this phase because gravity pulls the warhead faster than other re-entry vehicles. Defensive systems designed to engage in the terminal phase are used to protect ports, airfields, and concentration of troops. These American systems are Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, commonly known as THAAD, Iron Dome, Aegis Sea Base Terminal, and Patriot. Together, each system provides holistic coverage in two phases of flight. To learn more about engagement systems, stay tuned for next week's video. Thank you for watching the Weekly Interceptor on YouTube. Join us next week for more missile defense news.